Hello world. Hello YouTube. Hello everybody. This is Prepper Princess. This is going to be a video about saving money on groceries um, without the need of coupons. So a lot of people, you know, they, they try and save by buying in bulk or, uh, you know, using coupons and things like that. And coupons are great if you're going to use them. Um, but there's a couple of downsides to those things. One thing is, is that I find it um, pretentious for big, you know, club places like Sam's Club and uh, Costco and things like that to uh, charge me the privilege to shop at their store. Um, I think that this is a consumer driven society and, you know, they take advantage of that. And, you know, yes, it pays for whatever they say it pays for, but at the same time, um, I don't think that it, that, that they are so privileged and so great on deals that I should have to pay them for the privilege to um, shop at their stores. So I don't believe in, in bulk purchases such as those, but I do believe in bulk, bulk purchasing when things are on sale. So um, what I did last week, I'm just gonna use this as an example, is I went to Lucky, right? And at Lucky, if you look at the receipt down on the bottom, I paid, um, where is it? I paid 56.78 up here, 56.78, and I saved, 7407. That's a saving of, of 57%. And a lot of people wonder how I do that. Well, here's um, what I do. So um, I take the ads, and these are not ads that you buy a newspaper. I don't think you should have to buy a newspaper in order to get the good deals. So you get these ads in the in the mail, you know, Lucky, Nod Hill, Safeway, places like those. And they just look like this. You know, they come in the regular mailbox. They don't come with a newspaper. And the the thing about these is, is that when you look at an ad like this, what stores are doing is they're giving what are called doorbusters. When you shop at a grocery store, 60% of your purchases are called impulse purchases, so people don't go in with a list. Um, and I use these as a reference so that I can create a list based on these doorbuster prices and then get the maximum savings for my groceries. So, for instance, and by the way, not all pricing on these ads are good prices. So here is an example, right? <clears throat> Where is the, my favorite uh, steak is London broil. And I'm trying to find a London broil price in here. Um, give me just one second here. Okay, here we go. London broil, boneless beef London broil, $4.99 a pound, right? Last week at Lucky, I paid $2.48 a pound, plus I got 10% off of that because as you can see, with this Lucky thing, there's a 10% off a purchase of $50 or more. So I went in there and of course, or yeah, $50 or more. So I went in there and bought every bit of London broil that they had. And, uh, you know, they ran out. And don't be afraid to ask for a rain check. I asked for a rain check. They said, no problem, we'll give you a rain check. How many pounds do you want? And I said, I want 25 more pounds at that price. So I'm gonna go in there this week with that rain check and get another 25 pounds at 248 a pound. And I'm gonna use this 10% off coupon to get another 10% off of my rain check price. And uh, when you look at these things, so like I said, the Safeway was $4.99 a pound for London Broil, and that's a doorbuster price for Safeway, right? I have a buy price for everything, which means for me, London broil, um, which is, London broil and chicken are really, and turkey are really the only meats that I purchase. My buy price for London broil is $2.99 a pound. If I can get, if it's on sale for $2.99 a pound, I'll buy everything that they have. But the fact that I got it for $2.48 plus 10% off, that saved me another $20, $30. And what I do is I buy everything that they have and I fill up my freezer completely full and it keeps me stocked up for the entire year. With chicken, you know, regular prices are about $2.99 a pound right now. Right now they are. I mean, that's obviously going to change over time. But usually during Thanksgiving time, they will have uh, prices go on sale for chicken breasts for $0.89 cents or $0.99 cents a pound. $0.99 cents a pound is my buy price. I will buy a full year's worth of chicken for $0.99. Cents. So when I go to the store, you know, I'll go once, twice, maybe three times a year for meat. And then everything else that I buy is just, you know, the extra stuff. So, you know, of course I buy like canned food and stuff like that. And during the winter months, I don't even have to go to the store. Um, 
what I'll do is I'll, I'll get those uh, vegetables, you know, canned veggies, you know, corn, peas, uh, green beans, uh, even some soups. Like, uh, I really like the, oh gosh, what's it called? Uh, let me check real quick. I really like the Campbell's Chunky Soup. Um, the great thing about this soup is you can toss it in a crock pot. Um, you can also add other things like green beans and corn, and then you just have a huge plethora of soup that'll last you for like five days. And then I just usually have something on the side like bread or a piece of fruit. And that is one of the cheapest meals that you can get during the winter time. And the fact that you stock up on meat when they're on that really, really low sale, uh, that makes everything just stretch so much further. Um, you know, people ask me what I spend every month on groceries and the truth of the matter is it's kind of hard for me to calculate that because I go to the store so infrequently that I don't really have a monthly budget for groceries. I do know that I spend about, I'm going to say $500 a year um, on groceries and that's about it. Um, I do, you know, of course you know, my significant other, my girlfriend and I do do our finances separately. She buys her own food and I buy my own food. She doesn't like my food and I don't like her food, so it works out perfectly. And then when it comes to bulk meat purchases, this is something that I didn't learn until I was in my late 20s. You know, everybody's got those, uh, you know, food savers and those things with the electric, with the plastic that suctions out the air. Uh, you don't really need that. Um, that's great if you want to keep it really long term. I'm talking like super, super long term, like years and years. That's a good thing to have for that. But those machines are expensive and so is the plastic to, you know, continue to rewrap your, your food. Um, what I get is I get freezer paper. This is uh, between five and seven dollars. This roll will probably last me two to three years, even with all of the bulk purchases that I make. And uh, what you do is you just wrap it up kind of like a burrito and then um, you can write on the paper and say, you know, when you wrapped it and uh, what's in it. So um, as an example, in my freezer here, so what do I got here? See? London broil, two of them. London broil, one of them. So I package them into single servings and I use them as the year progresses. And that's the best way that you can possibly save on meat and when it comes to places like Sam's Club and Costco even though they're bulk purchases their pricing is not necessarily the best per pound for their meat um, and that's just a quick little thing that a little tip that I wanted to give you I don't want to make this video too long um, I will make other videos for like fruits vegetables canned goods you know if you guys want to see videos like that but in the meantime, these ads, you know, they don't, and every store has the ad too. Uh, so if you don't get the ad in the mail, you can just go to the store and ask for an ad. And they'll give you an ad right away. You can go sit on a picnic table and go through the ad, circle the stuff that's got a really good price, and just stock up on that like crazy. So um, for now, I guess that that's it. Um, there are so many saving methods when it comes to groceries. I can't go over it all in one video. So if you guys want to hear and learn more about saving more money on, money on groceries, different ideas, um, just go ahead and let me know. Put, a, put your notes in the comments. And um, if there's anything specific that you guys want to know about, about how to make food last longer in the fridge, um, what goes good with what, how long things typically last, um, how you, you know, purchase the beginning, middle, and end of the month in order to make it go the entire way, just let me know. I'd be more than happy to answer any questions you guys have. Um, I am a black belt in the money saving industry. So, um, just a little, I am a self-proclaimed black belt in the money saving industry. I've been doing this for years and I'm really, really good at it. Very confident that I can help you guys save some more money. So, um, if you like this video, give it a thumbs up, um, leave your comments in the comment section, and that's it for now. Do what you can with what you've got. Prepper Princess out.